I think the difference between the Luries and the Prisms is vastly different. Prisms is really focused on PR best practice, whereas Luries, being the Luries and what, they, what, what it stands for is all about innovation, it's about creative thinking, and it's about fresh thinking. And, and the submissions between the two are vastly different in terms of what has been looked for. Um, from my side, in terms of being a judge and seeing the difference, and specifically for those who are going to be submitting for 2013, is there are certain things that we are looking for that you need to make it easier for the judging panel as the sub submitter. So make it easy for us to see very quickly and cleanly what the innovative concept is. We're, we're looking at so many um, different boards across the table. We've got a short space of time to see what is on there. Make it simple and easy for us to understand. Right, here's the creative idea. This is exactly what the concept is and this is what it brings to the brand. Um, this is the relevance to the brand. And, and it's quite interesting. There are so many um, submissions that we see where we go, Okay, so what is the, the relevance or how is this relevant to the target audience? So tell us, make it easy for the judges to see this is relevant for the brand, this is relevant for the target audience, this is a relevant use of the different uh, mechanisms and communications, um, and the mediums that are chosen are relevant to get to those people. Perfect example is a submission, won't name any years or whatever, it was a fantastic Twitter campaign, but it was speaking to the entirely wrong audience. And if you actually looked at the audience and who they wanted to speak to, that audience wasn't even on Twitter. So make it relevant um, in terms of the public relations. Some of the things I think that are quite important in terms of the submissions between Prism and Luries, again, that's just because of, of my comparison, is that there are no lines anymore. So in the ad industry specifically, people talk about above the line, below the line, through the line, or whatever, there are no lines anymore. This is really about a communications campaign and a in the PR category specifically for the Luries, it goes across everything. And m many of the submissions that we have seen are brilliant advertising campaigns or activations or something on those lines first that then expand uh, expand into the public relations and the communications to the, the relevant target audience. So um, the lure is really in the public relations category. What I would say to the public relations people out there, the advertising people, the digital realm, it's all relevant to everybody. And some of my fellow judges in the last, um, last year when we realized what we were looking at from a PR category, said, hey, but we did this as part of our category. We actually need to submit next year. I didn't realize that this is what the PR category uh, covered.